We are back. Joining us is executive chef Chris Rotondi. Chris is also partner of the Skipak Village Italian Market and Restaurant. This looks and smells good. Hi, Chris. How are you? Thanks for being here. How are you doing? Appreciate I'm it. I'm so excited to get my hands dirty. <laughs> Let's get your today. hands Let's dirty, right? So, Sounds Chris, great. what do we have here? Tell us a little bit about what we got going on here. Um, so, we're going to be making a fresh pasta crab ravioli mm -hmm. uh, with a yes. sweet oh, roasted boy. red pepper cream sauce. Oh, that's silly. So, you got the pasta already all set up, well, right? You said we're making it. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to get our hands dirty, all right? Okay. What's so, the first step? Yeah. yeah, tell us. So, first thing uh, will be for the filling. Okay. Uh, Raldo, you have that. Wait, so I'm going to start getting right now, the. Yes. All the ingredients are right in front of you. You have a uh, fresh ricotta. Mm -hmm. um, we have some uh, quality lump crab meat, uh, minced shallots, minced red bell peppers, uh, some lemon juice, a little bit of Old Bay, and some fresh parsley. So Perfect. that can all just get mixed in. Okay, what am I doing? I feel like I got so, the hard task. So you, you, you have the fun <laughs> so task. I'm the newbie. Okay, <laughs> so, what do so I gotta you, do? So you're gonna do the dough. So we have okay. a semolina flour, double zero flour, eggs, and olive oil. Okay. So you're just gonna roll up your sleeves and just what start. What does double zero flour mean? So double zero, um, it's basically almost like you take an all-purpose flour mm -hmm. and it gets ground again. So it's a much finer grind. You get a smoother uh, pasta, smoother okay. product out of it. Mm. All right, get busy with that. All right, I'm trying. All right, this is why I, this is why I work out. <laughs> so, Chris, so what's the difference between a fresh pasta and dry pasta? The, the biggest difference to me is flavor-wise. Okay. Uh, in fresh pasta with the eggs and olive oil in there, it's just much more flavorful than a typical dried pasta, semolina okay. and water. Oh, I see. So, almost anything's more flavorful than water. Wow. What was the first dish you ever cooked? Like, how did you get involved in chefery, if you will? <laughs> chefery, um, I love that. I've, yeah. I've been in the industry since since I was about 13, 14 years old. So, oh, wow. so I kind of just wow. came up through the ranks and worked front of house, back of house. Yeah. And you tell us about your restaurant a little bit. Yeah. Um, so it's the Skipback Village Italian Market. Okay. Um, we're a hybrid restaurant, deli. Uh, we also do catering as well. So we kind of do a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything, group. right? If I'm going there, what do I have to get? <laughs> well, any of the pastas on the menu are all made from scratch like we're going to do. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so okay. you really can't go wrong with anything like that. Wow, this looks and smells amazing, doesn't it? Oh my God, how long do I have to knead the dough for? Like how <laughs> so, long until it like... So it, it would take about five, six minutes. Okay. Uh, if it felt a little wet, then you would keep adding a little bit of flour to it until you get a nice smooth ball. Once uh, you had that, we would rest it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, and then we would have this finished product right here. All right, um, so this is all done, I believe. Okay, great. All right, so let's talk about the sauce Yeah, then. let's get to it. Okay. Uh, you so, gotta put the pasta in there, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we have our pasta there. Uh -huh. so That's what start. my finished product would look like wow. if I was competent. Okay. Oh, look at that. So I'll start running it through the machine, and uh, I'll start closing the gap to make the pasta thinner and longer. Okay. Huh? Thinner, awesome. and lo thinner and longer. That's right. Okay. How thin do you want it? Like. So it's almost if like if you put it on top of a newspaper, right? Uh, you'd be able to just about read the newspaper through. Okay. So that thin then, right? Oh, yes. like basically translucent almost. Okay. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. <laughs> Now, if you don't have that machine, you can just kind of roll it out, roll it out, Absolutely. roll it out. Absolutely. It takes a little longer, but you know, I guess you get the same result, basically. Now, if I bought frozen ravioli in comparison to making it from scratch, yes. would I know? Would you know? How would I be able you, to tell? What's the biggest difference? You can definitely tell, tell the difference. Uh, egg yolks and, and olive oil, they definitely add a, a nice richness to it. Oh, excellent. So okay. now the filling that we got here, it's ready. That's going to be... Yep, it's so, in a can right there, right there? And you're going to put it in the raviolis, right? Yes. So let's go ahead and fill the raviolis in. Ooh, so I once we are all oh rolled out. <laughs> right? So well I'm so done. Hungry. I can eat the raw dough right now. I'm, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to eat the <laughs> eggs <laughs> on my hand. Are you kidding? Wow, look at that. How much there filling do you put in each? Uh... Um, so it might get a little, not, a little not that much. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat whatever it is. Whatever left over, I'll eat it. Whatever left over, I'll do it. Wow. So you actually have to squeeze those in, right? One by one? Yes. Excellent. Okay, and it's like a spoonful enough in it, right? It looks like, looks about about yeah, it's about a, yeah, it's about that much, really, right? Yeah, you're probably about a tablespoon or so in there. And then once you you know layer the ravioli and make it, you drop it in boiling water and cooks Correct. in a few. It'll be about four minutes. Okay. okay. There you go. There we go. Not bad. And then can you make the sauce at the same time that you're doing the ravioli? Absolutely. I mean, you're. A, I mean, you're a Superman, so you can, but I want the people at home to feel like they can. Your dough looks so much better than mine. I'm trying. Right? I'm trying. You're doing a great job, by the way. I'm trying. <laughs> so you're going to put the layer on top of there, right? Yep. So I use a little bit of egg yolk to bind everything together. Right. Okay. It's like and glue. I have that on there. And then you flatten it out, right? take our rolling pin here, and that's going to oh cut gosh. our edges out. <laughs> 
get that yeah. out of our way there. Okay, great. And then got you about a minute left. Cut way, it up. It. There we go. All good. All right. Okay. Okay, so we get the sauce then. Yeah, tell right. us about the sauce. Tell a us about bit. the sauce of it a little bit. All right, so uh, the sauce we're going to start out with a little bit of butter. Okay. okay. And you just throw all those ingredients. Just throw all what that are you in, making? Right? A just butter first, melt it. Yep. Okay. okay. So we're just going to sweat out the garlic and shallots. Okay. okay. A little bit of those in there. All right. So we got about 45 seconds left or so. So that everything goes in there, right? So yep. basically, you're doing that. That goes in the pan. You're gonna put the raviolis in the water, correct? Yes. And then they'll like, and then this is all. Obviously, everything's gonna be combined together. Oh, nice! Look yeah. at that, all that. <laughs> and then so. tell us what the finished product. And then the finished product, guys, like. it's right there in the front. Tell us about the finished product, Chris. So it's a sweet roasted red pepper cream sauce with a crab and ricotta ravioli. Oh, wow. oh my God, that looks so that much looks better amazing. than anything amazing. we could make. Listen, Chris, this is amazing. Thank you so much thank for being so on the show. Thank you so much. We could talk about this all day, but thank you so much for being on the show and showing up. I'm not going to shake your You're hand. Not hand. Not <laughs> very appreciative of you coming right. by. Okay, guys, uh, thanks to Chef Chris. This is amazing. It's time to wrap it up. And thanks again to all of our guests. And a special thank you to my new official co host, Darren Garve. We also want to give a shout out to our new set design, which looks incredible. Thanks right. to Thomas Matthews Design, located in Wayne, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. known for luxury interior design, tailored for your busy lifestyle. And remember, let's continue our conversation on social media. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I know it's like The preceding was sponsored by 